Where's that dandy? Oh. Oh boy. We better get down there. Well, today we're going to go for coho salmon on Clackamas County's Eagle Creek here in Oregon. Uh, we're going to use nothing but an orange piece of yarn, a little bit of peach and orange yarn, actually kind of a two color combination, and one little split shot 18 inches above, which is what the legal law allows. We're going to basically sit at the heads of the riffles and wait for fish to blast up through them. Uh, such conditions actually exist today. We had a heavy rain last night. And so basically we're going to just sit and as these fish come up, when they stop in the little pockets and the little drifts and the little shallow spots, we're going to take some quick casts across them and see if we can get them to hit or just basically see what happens. I've seen a lot of fish go through already. I'm kind of excited to get down there and give it a try. There's some riffles right behind me here. i got to get down there. This is a nice hole with a snag and a riffle in the top. The fish are laying under the primary seam of water, which you can see right there in the center. This is a perfect hole for fly fishing. Perfect. I'm going to be using one number four split shot 18 inches above, which is the legal length. And I'm just going to make the same technique and drifts and pass through mid water column where the fish are laying. There's quite a few fish laying out here actually. There's a, a pack of them in there. We're just trying to kind of get through there without spooking them to death. Oh, there we go. Big buck, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Pretty fish. Maybe switching to black yarn helped a little. They didn't spook, spook away from it. This is just a big red pig though. Look at these kind of dark. Oh, he's pretty fish. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Oh, come off. Oh, did it. <laughs> hey, come back here. <laughs> you made <me> scammer shy. <laughs> That's fun. Nice job. Now you got an indicator on there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Looked like it was a real bright fish too. Yeah. I think and see, that's you know that's another great technique. Is using that indicator. It's like a little bobber. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Yeah, the indicator. You know, I do a lot of net fishing, and this is just a form of net fishing. You know. Yeah. What do you got on there? A couple egg patterns. Double egg or? Uh, or two different ones. One's a green. One's a pink. Glow bug? Yeah. Right. This is Alex Barkham. He's using an interesting setup I want to show you folks because this is just the ultimate low stream, small stream type technique. Uh, what do you got there, Alex? 
So these are a little crystal flash um, glow bug, pink, and then green. Oh yeah, you got two of them on there, don't you? And they fish them about a foot apart. Yep. Put your sp split shot up above the knot so it doesn't slide down during fishing. And then I fish with the strike and then, Yeah, right, you've got the strike indicator. What is that strike indicator? Is that what, about four feet and pegged? Yeah. About four feet from the uh, lower egg? Mm-hmm. So this yep. is a double hook setup. This is really a dynamite jack salmon and steelhead setup also, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And they fish this way a lot down on the rogue for steelhead. For the half pound runner? Yeah, even the big adult steelhead. I, I could imagine that being deadly on half pounders. Put your uh, stone fly up here where the green one is, and then you know, a little egg pattern or prince nymph or something down here. And uh, right. that's mm -hmm. how they that's how they fish them down there. This is the crystal flash egg. Mm -hmm. This is the pink one, and then he has a green one set just a little bit above here. Yeah. Right. Beautiful setup. Like I was just saying a minute ago, I was using a bead in this spot the other day with an indicator, and it was taking jacks. But look at this guy now. He's got he's got a good fish on there. He's got a beautiful fish. Let's sit back and watch him catch this fish for a minute. <laughs> Oh, he's going to take you for a ride now. Yeah. You can hold the hole, I'll get you. It's a dandy. You pretty good at landing them yourself? Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, it's a hatchery fish. Look at that, right in the mouth. You can see that. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. You can see that egg pattern right in his, right in his jaw. Very nice work. <laughs> Very nice. Welcome. All right, I switched to a black yarn because these fish in this hole have seen a lot of gear. They're a little spooky, and uh, the fella next to me, Alex, just got a beautiful fish on two micro eggs. And uh, we're going to go to a darker color and see if maybe they don't move out of the way from it so much, and maybe they'll be more willing to snap at it. Let's try this. Coming down. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. There it is. Just like that. Yep, that's how you do it. Woo! Nice 
nice fish. About 12 pounds. Look at that. <laughs> this is really a nice fish too. This one's well over 12 pounds. That's a nice fish. Ah, uh, there, the, there went the rod. Uh -oh. I guess I'm done when I get this one, huh? <laughs> I guess you are. It's okay, I got a friend at Lambing Glass, really. Oh, that'll work. There it is. Look at that. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we took a broken rod for this one, but look at that fish. Black yarn right inside the corner of the mouth. You see that? That. Yep. We've got the hatchery clip here behind the dorsal. Just a dandy fish. Look at that. Look at that. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to take a moment and say I cannot believe what an incredible day this has turned out to be. We are truly blessed when we have these good days because they don't come every day. I don't know how many I've hooked today. I don't know how many I've caught and released. I'm sure I'll get two to take home. But this doesn't happen every day. A lot of times we fish for a lot of days and don't have any fish at all. But I gotta tell you, this has been an incredible day, and I'm glad I was able to share it with you, both in technique and in memory. Thank you.